The gas law that we're going to learn about in this lesson is completely different from the gas laws in the other lessons we've learned. Uh, in those other gas laws, uh, we learned or how to deal with pressure and volume and temperature and number of moles and things like that. Well, Graham's law of effusion is completely different. It talks about or tries to uh, to give a relationship between how fast molecules move and the mass of those molecules. Graham's law of effusion states that the rate of movement of gas particles is inversely proportional to their molecular mass. And so here we have this idea of inverse proportionality again, like we had in our first lesson in this unit. So when some uh, when two things are inversely proportional to each other, we know that one goes up, the other goes down. So that means that if the molecular mass of a molecule goes up, its rate of movement goes down. It moves more slowly. And likewise, if the molecule's uh, mass is going to go down, it gets lighter, well, that means that the rate of movement is higher. It moves more quickly. Now, the way that we express this in an equation looks like this. The rate of gas A over the rate of gas B equals the square root of the molecular mass of gas B over the square root of the molecular mass of gas A. Now this looks kind of complicated. It's really not as complicated as it looks. I want you to notice a couple things though. We have A is in the numerator on the left side, but it's in the denominator on the right side. And the same thing for B. They're basically kind of flip-flopped across from each other. Now, if we look at that equation again, we might wonder what is effusion? Because this is called Graham's law of effusion. This is different from diffusion. Because diffusion is basically the, uh, the movement of particles from an area of high concentration to an area of lower concentration. If you take a uh, a, a droplet of food coloring and drop it into water, it's going to diffuse. And that food coloring is going to uh, dissipate and diffuse throughout the entire uh, volume of water. Effusion is different though. Effusion is the escaping of molecules through a very tiny hole in a material. Now, maybe you've seen this happen before. Perhaps you've received a helium a balloon and you know that helium balloons float in air. They're less dense than air. Maybe you've taken a helium balloon home and you put it in your room and then you wake up the next morning and that helium balloon has sunk down to the ground. Well, what's happening there? Well, you may not realize it, but that balloon has little teeny tiny holes in it. And over time, uh, helium atoms are able to escape through those teeny tiny holes in the balloon. And that process is called effusion. And I guess at the same time, uh, uh, perhaps some oxygen molecules and nitrogen molecules are effusing into uh, that balloon at a, at a fairly small rate. But nevertheless, it causes that balloon to sink when that helium escapes. And so effusion takes place for all molecules, but it happens faster for very lighter molecules. And so Graham's law basically tells us that more massive molecules, or for our purposes we can say heavier molecules, move faster than lighter molecules or less massive molecules. And so if you look at the periodic table, if you want to take a, a comparison and say helium versus xenon. Now helium is a very light molecule. It has a, an atomic mass of about 4.0 atomic mass units, and xenon is a fairly heavy molecule. It's about 131 units or so. Well, which one is going to move faster? Well, hopefully you see it's helium. It's a whole lot lighter than xenon. So helium moves faster. Why? Because it's lighter. It's less massive. Whereas xenon is just kind of lumbering along. It's, it's a much heavier molecule, much more massive. So let's try an example here and we'll see how this equation works. Like I said, it looks uh, complex. It's really not. It says, which gas effuses faster, nitrogen or helium, and how much faster? Well, we have to think about uh, the actual masses of these molecules before we even get started. 
Now nitrogen, the uh, symbol for nitrogen is N, but hopefully you'll remember that nitrogen is one of those seven diatomic uh, atoms or diatomic molecules we learned about earlier in the course. So nitrogen gas is actually N2, not just N. And the mass of nitrogen from the periodic table is about 14.00, but since this is N2, we have to multiply that by 2. So N2 is actually 28.00. That's its mass. Now helium is He, and if we look at the periodic table, it has a mass of about 4.00. And so looking at those two masses, it should be pretty obvious which one is going to effuse faster. It's, it's the helium. Well, we're going to plug this into the equation. I strongly recommend that you make gas A be the lighter gas. And so we're going to say that gas A is the helium. So the rate of helium over the rate of nitrogen is equal to the square root of the molecular mass of nitrogen, which is 28.00, divided by the square root of the molecular mass of helium, which is 4.00. So all we have to do here is take our calculator and find out what is the square root of 28 divided by the square root of 4. And you can punch that into your calculator, and the answer is 2.00. Six, five. And so we have to answer both parts of this question. And so perhaps a good way to say this would be helium will effuse 2.65 times as fast as nitrogen. And so that answers both parts of the question correctly. And that's how we use Graham's Law of Effusion. Let's try another example. This time it's worded a little bit differently, but uh, the, the basic idea here is the same. Uh, calculate the ratio of the velocity of helium atoms to neon atoms at the same temperature. So we have Graham's Law of Effusion. This time we have helium and neon. So uh, helium, if we look at the periodic table, has an atomic mass of 4.00, same as it was a few minutes ago. We did the other problem. And then we have neon. And so if we look at the periodic table for neon, it has an atomic mass of about 20.18 atomic mass units. And so looking at these two gases, it should be obvious which one is going to go faster, isn't it? It should be the helium. It's, it's lighter. So since it's lighter, I'm going to call that gas A. So when I write the equation here, it's the rate of helium over the rate of neon equals the square root of the molecular mass of neon. So that's 20.18 over the square root of the molecular mass of helium, which is about 4.00. So now we just take our calculators and divide the square root of 20.18 by the square root of 4. And the answer I'm getting is about 2.25 times. And so the way to write this up and answer both parts of the question is to say that helium will effuse about 2.25 times as fast as neon. And so by looking at the molecular masses of these molecules, we can determine which ones will go faster and how much faster. This is a good application of Graham's Law of Effusion.